What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Dez Reacts and man, do I got something planned special for y'all today. So we looking at Chad Johnson. So they say 83% of his salary while he was in the NFL. I think it's interesting. I think it's probably uh, one of the coolest things I've heard from an ex-athlete because we know four years usually after they're finished playing ball, football, basketball, it don't matter, they usually go broke. So let's get into it. Let's see what he say. Let's see how he's been spending his money since he's been retired. You mentioned earlier about your spending and like you're very fiscally responsible. You responsible. Cheap. You're very conscious of cheap. what you spend uh, spend it on <laughs> mm -hmm. and how much you're spending. Say cheap. Have you always been like that? Always. You got to remember, I stayed at the stadium the first two years. Right. I didn't want to spend no money. Right. Uh, what's the point? Why? Why you? Why you? Why, it, you, huh? why, you, why are you telling Marvin? Marvin gonna come third year. Why are you telling me go rent a house? go buy a house, go rent a condo, when everything I need is right here in the facility at Paul Brown. Right. Showers, cafeteria, TV, couch, gaming system. <laughs> What's the point? Man, y'all just heard that? My boy Chad Johnson, AKA Ocho Cinco, he giving y'all the cheat code. That's the cheat code. First, second year, he stayed in the stadium. The stadium, that's the cheat code. They spend no money, they feed you, you got somewhere to sleep. They give you amenities. I mean, what else do you need? That it's so bad that the actual head coach got to come in and say, "All right, it's time for you to get somewhere to stay. It's time for you to get an apartment." That's 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 the cheat code. That's how you save money, especially when you don't need anything. That that's very very smart, and we don't even see a lot of people with money moving this way today. But let's get back into it. What's the point? And I was so locked in that really it wasn't about having my own space and having women come. What about the dating life? How you gonna bring somebody? For what? I'm locked in. I'm a rookie. Okay. I ain't got time. Date, date for what? Date for what? I, I needed that one year lock in, catch the rhythm. My second year, I caught the rhythm. Okay. I caught the rhythm of the game. Right. I, you see that? He bought his work. He bought his work ethic. I ain't gonna try to interrupt too much, but that show you his about his work. He wouldn't worry about dating. He wouldn't worry about the ladies. He wouldn't worry about what somebody gonna say about him because, you know, he ain't going out. He ain't doing this or doing that. He was locked in. He was focused. Focused. That's how he's successful today. He was focused. Let's get back into it. Felt like, okay, I got it now. Because I think I, I think a third year I came and I did a, a sit down with you in your place. Yeah, yeah. At, th at that point, okay, I got it now. Mm -hmm. I, I was good. And that's when Marvin came in and also said, now it's time for you to be spread responsible, your spread your and get your own place. So right. listen, I moved right down the street. One little place. I'll never forget. <laughs> one little bedroom. You mentioned that you're, you're, you're fiscally responsible. Is there anything that you purchased you like, I wish I had done that. That was a waste of my effing money. Um, probably some of the cars, maybe in year four, but it, it, it. All those don't Chevy. Yeah. Um, the high end vehicles, but I didn't purchase, I leased everything. Right. Bugatti, Ferrari. I, I did, I did it all. Right. Just dropped two gems. Did y'all hear that? He dropped two gems. The first gem is he didn't buy nothing expensive until year four. Four years into the league, he started what he felt like was wasting money on vehicles. Then the second gym is he leased them. He didn't even own them. He didn't pay cash. How many times do you see athletes go pay, you know, cash for a Lamborghini, for a Ferrari, $400,000, $500,000, they just drop it. Oh, it ain't a big deal. And then they just bought this vehicle and they don't, they don't I mean, time they drive it off the lot is worth three fifty. dollars if they can get that back from it. He didn't do that. He leased them. Okay, I can take this payment a month. Whereas somebody buying it straight out, they would have spent five hundred thousand. He might have spent fifteen to twenty thousand. That's 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 smart to the next level. Just cause you got money don't mean you gotta waste it. I think that's like the biggest uh takeaway from this. Just cause you got it don't mean you just waste it on stuff just here, there and everywhere. You just don't waste it. But the funny thing about it is, is I got to a point in my career and I, I wish people, athletes more so, if you can get to a point in your career where your name becomes bigger than anything you can purchase, mm. there's your value. Wow. Mm. My name itself. 
Facts. Ocho Cinco at one point, even still to this day, is bigger than, why am I driving a Ferrari? Why am I driving a Rolls Royce and I'm Ocho? Oh, we talk about jewelry and watches and chains. But you already had, but see, the thing is, you already had, it's easy for you to do that now, Ocho, because you had the jewelry, you had the car. No, 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 no. Never bought real anything when I was playing. Never, what was the point? I went to Claire's. So all, so went, all yeah, you do is for- Yes, for what? What am I doing it for? My boy the women the don't deal with you anyway because of who you are. Right. And Facts. then the other women who are really doing their homework don't Google how much you're making already. Right. Why am I buying a $50,000 watch? $80,000 watch. What time is it real quick? Please? It's uh, 20 minutes to four. How much that cost me? It ain't cost you nothing. Because time is free. So Ooh, what I'm paying for? Right. Facts. My boy dropping facts. My boy dropping facts. Why would you go spend fifty thousand dollars on a watch to prove something to somebody that don't care nothing about you? Just like, just like he just did unk right there. It's like, hey, what time is it? Oh, it's ten fifty four. How much that cost me? Nothing. Nothing. We everybody got a cell phone. Up, oh, put a cell phone up. What time is it? Apple Watch. I could see, you know, you have an Apple Watch, you got other amenities on it, but most people got digital watches. Nope, you're not dropping 50, 100,000, whatever for a watch just because you you got it. That's that's just ludicrous. That's dumb. For what? I'm Ocho. What's the point? Right. There's nothing I can buy that's bigger than my name alone. So it made mm. no sense. But everybody's caught up in image and looking a certain way mm-hmm. and being rich. It's me. It's pointless. How do you how do you express that to your kids when they know who you are? They know they know what you have. That's the hard part. <laughs> is getting them to have that mindset I have because they ain't cutting it. With the missus, oh she ain't having it. Them eight them eight and a half carrots. Ooh, oh, that's real. Eight, right. right. Anything I personally count that half is real. real. Yeah. So the kids, I allow them to do the designer and the nice yeah. stuff. Because I didn't save what 80, 83 percent of my salary, so right. it's okay. And I have stuff mm. coming still in coming already. In. Oh right. yes, yeah, still coming in. Thank you, Dougie. You know, <laughs> and, and so so life is good because I was able to sustain and keep most of my wealth that I made when I was playing, and life is still going good. So I allow the kids to enjoy, mm. but I need them to understand they're gonna come a time. Ah, they gotta get off daddy payroll. <laughs> you have to get off that payroll. <laughs> But for right now, I will always be for the, be there for them, no right. matter what they want. Right. Long as you don't try to live a lifestyle that you know you can't afford. Right. You can't. You can't. You can't do that. Yeah. I'm gonna let you enjoy yourself now. Right. Man, that's that. That right there's a, a a lifelong lesson, and you could tell that he he tried to be a great dad because most people in his position that got it, and I mean when they really got it, like they're rich. Um, they. They're not worried about if their kids care if they can afford it or not. They just get it for them because they love them, or they say they love them, so they just do it. He's like, uh, 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 I can give you some stuff, but I ain't giving you everything just because I can do it, which is smart. It's, it's teaching them life lessons that they don't even know they need to be taught yet. I commend him for that. You, you went for viral for wearing the same outfit on the trip. Yeah. Because I, mean, you know, I think I, I heard you pack, you went. You maybe it was soccer, and you packed like three outfits, and you're there for like two weeks. That's it. That's all you need. <laughs> like a couple of pair of drawers. Uh, That's it. A couple of t-shirts and a pair of shorts. And two That's all you of need. Shorts. I, uh, I took all blended family. Right. We all went to the Bahamas for New Year's. Okay. So the kids, I know they like to look nice. You know the young kids yeah. these days, man. Okay, we gonna all go to a Miri. So I took all the kids to Miri, all of them. Everybody got outfit. Everybody got shoes. I got my little outfit. Price tag, 23,000. Huh? Ooh. What? 23,000. Remember, it's eight of us now. Mary ain't Mary ain't cheap. Hold up. I, I never heard of this store or this brand. And I ain't gonna hear of it no time soon. Never in my lifetime. 23,000 price tag for some clothes? Man, y'all got the wrong one. That's crazy. So what did they put back? Ain't put nothing back. This is a one-time thing. It's the holidays. Yeah, 23000 So, boom. Mm. Okay, mm. I understood what I just paid for all this stuff for the kids. So, we're going to have a good time. We stayed at Atlantis. Mm. I ain't take that Amiri off the whole trip. I took uh, me a shower. 
I took me a shower each day, changed underwear, put a, a new tank top on, and put that shit right back on. <laughs> I would have did the same thing. I ain't even lying to y'all. I would have done the same thing for that much. For I'm wearing that all month, all month long. Same outfit. Good God. <laughs> you know what I paid for this? I don't care who see me, so I made my own personal video letting people know you probably gonna see me over and over in the same outfit. Let me give you under. Uh, Let uh, me help you understand why. why. And I always do that all the time. <laughs> Dude, I shop at H&M. Look, this, this whole outfit, this cost me $60. It's Urban Outfitters. And it's from the sale rack. It's a Levi and jacket and some dickies that's cut off. Like I'm a skateboarder. I don't skate. I don't skate. But I look good. Yeah. So that's your, that's your whole thing. And I've always been this way. So yeah. you can't, the people on the outside that might be new to who I am now that are a little older don't understand. I've been this way the past 20, 25 years. So you're not going to let society shape Ocho Cinco's idea never. of who he is or what he should be? Never. Never. I've never, never been that way because I don't need validation from nobody on the outside. Mm. Don't need validation. Oh, boy, how many of us need validation today? That, that man, this joke is dropping gems. Gems. I may not agree with everything he say, uh, that or that he didn't done, done through his career, but everything he talking about with money, he telling the truth. He telling the truth, and he he giving you, he dropping these little gems to show you how to keep your money. Cause just cause you can make some money, that don't mean you can keep it. These these are facts, man, straight facts. Never have, and that, that's Mommy another. That's a, give you validation. You straight. The kids yeah, give it. you validation. That's dad. Yeah. We good. And, fi and some of the time they make fun of me, so yeah. I don't really need validation from me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, that, that's another downfall for us too. Right. That's another downfall in society. We always need validation and acceptance from others. If Commission Goodell let you went to the rookie symposium mm. and let you talk, I and need I too. He needs to let me well, do that. Well, well, hopefully they're watching this. I need to do it. I got Roger on speed dial. I got him on speed dial. I need to do that. About financial literacy. Yes. But the problem is, is it's going to go in one ear and not the other, yep. especially at that age. It's like me coming, going to talk to kids and that's getting NIL deals. Right. Mm. Can't tell you them that. You got everybody in your ear. Mm -hmm. You don't know who to tell no to. You got all these investment people. You know how many horror, horror stories there are about NFL players that invest in companies? I mean... Usain Bolt just going through an issue. 12.7, I saw that. Going out of his account. Because the investment, listen, the best investment person is yourself. Do your homework. You don't need all these people. Because if, if they knew. Facts. Name one investment person that is in a position and is rich. How are you going to tell me what to do with my money and you Got haven't point. made it yet? Right. To give me an example of what I should do. Nah, man, I, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. We put we put our money in too many people's hands. And you don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You say you interned at Morgan Stanley. Was it was it of the utmost important that you go understand? You knew what money was, mm -hmm. but now that I have it, how do I keep it? Yeah. And that's what I always tell guys. It's mm -hmm. not how much you make, it's hey, how much how you much keep. keep. And it. the funny part about it is people, social media. Well, if I spin this bag, I'm gonna just go make it back. It ain't like you think. No. And people, they think the cure and the problem, the fix for the problem is, well, give me more money, I'm going to be all right. Well, the more you make, the more you spend. Right. If mm -hmm. you have no discipline and no structure. Yes. It's a mentality. Absolutely. Every time. Yes. Every time. Well, just give me more and more. No, the more you get, the more you're going to spend. And people ain't going to listen because we are caught up in looking a certain way, living a certain way, trying to appease others who don't really care nothing about you. Yeah. Just to say, Oh, I got it. Wow. Well, shit, I got it too and I had it for almost 30 years. So Ooh. has that, do you, is that in us or is that social media? Because I look at social media, I'm like, well, damn, That's, I might need to get me another job or two because how, he's like, he, she got a house. Listen, what? we can't compete with people that's scamming and doing fraud. Okay. We can't do that. No, I can't, we can't go to jail. We, 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 can't, <laughs> we, can't, go to we jail. can't do that. I like my freedom. We can't do that. Now, there are very few people that can sustain that lifestyle right. consistently over time. Because normally people mm -hmm. that's making it legally and doing the right thing, they don't post it on social media, no, right? No, no. You know, you know how hard it is to live like that all the time consistently and be fly every day? Yeah. Jewelry and, listen, eras of rappers. <clears throat> Think about the era before, before us. Right. Everybody was flashy, stunned, stunned. And after 10 years, what happens? They ain't flashy, they ain't stuff. No, you, you mm -hmm. can't. It's impossible to sustain. Right. It's impossible. I would like no to fly what. private. I need to get me out. I want to make enough money I can fly, 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 
Fly private? Yeah. Shh. I ain't flying private. I'm spirit. Dougie, what I fly, Dougie? <laughs> Say spirit. Not even jet spirit. blue. Spirit. Exit row. Window seat. That's all I need. As long as I get from point A to point B. I don't need private. I want to do this. I just want to. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe. Yo, my man Chad, he, he dropped the gems. He dropped a whole bunch of gems in this video. I mean, watch it back through. And I know he's talking from a perspective of having wealth, but he also talking from a perspective of making wealth and keeping it. Whereas a lot of people, especially ex-athletes, lose all of their money within the first four years of being out of the league of whichever league they're in. That go for baseball, they go for football, basketball, because they're so used to spending it while they're playing, especially if you have a long, lucrative career, you spend it fast as you get it. But once you retire, that stops. So he's showing you or giving you a blueprint. Hey, this is how you keep your money. These young people kids coming up out of college they're getting the nil deals or they're just getting into the nfl or into the nba or, or mlb this is how you keep your money this is how you level up in life you level up your family you you do it for a sustained period of time it ain't just for a season or just for five ten years you doing this for the rest of your life and also you're elevating your family to another uh, a, a plateau for the rest of their life as well this is smart. My boy dropping gems. I appreciate y'all sticking around. Please like, comment, subscribe. I got more content coming. We're going to be trying to put some out every day if we can. It's coming. So y'all please like, comment, subscribe, hang around. And uh, I appreciate the views. Thank y'all.